Hi everyone, this is Zoya and I am back with another video. I thought I'm going to update you of the things uh of the things that I did this weekend. Um basically cross stitching and paint by numbers. So this is an update. Uh let me first uh, share with you what I have done with the last uh, last supper. So I've stitched on this um a few minutes every night since july 1st and uh, i tried my best to really um stitch fast but it's not really doing that way and um yeah this is my progress i'm really close this is the, this is the end of the page it's like the whole page so i'm working on the bottom part and um yeah uh, really tried my best to really spend more time but just couldn't sometimes i get so sleepy because i was teaching while um in in our the boat and it's swaying a lot so i get so sleepy when i do that and you know drowsy and stuff like that so yeah this is this is the end part of the page and i have just have a little a few stitches more to go and then i'll move on to the next page my plan is to instead of doing like that my, well, once i'm done with this page i want to stitch the page right next to it so we will see next is i actually pull christmas stuff so i worked on this also just a few um if i needed you know something i was just sitting and waiting for something and this is a printed cross stitch so it's easier it's easier to stitch if you're waiting for something that's what i did i had a few moments that i had to wait for us to leave and i'll pick this up and stitch on this so what i did is just stitch this part and some of the part here it looks really finished but it's not it, this one is really hard so they the tree now i've learned so much from stitching this one that um i need to like stitch one area at a time or else you get confused so uh because it's pre-printed so it looks like it's easier this is what i'm trying to say it's easier for you to miss some stitches um like this one i thought it's finished but not really because i missed those things because of the colored squares but yeah i i like how easy it is you don't have to refer so much to the chart but the problem with this is the fabric it's really thick what's going on or someone's doing some trimming anyways um yeah that's what i've been working on i'm hoping to really get this done this will be the first i think i have another three another three or two of this and next is i decided to start on this one too last this week so but then i made this progress i made that then i realized i really don't like the fabric this is 14 count and I just don't like it. Something's wrong with the um so I just don't like the fabric. So I wanted to restitch this and use my own fabric. This is still a 14 count, but they are weave really tight. This one this is just too big, too loose or big holes. This one is 14 count, but it's not no big holes. It's a little bit better um fabric i hand dyed this i think hand dyed coffee or tea dyed this myself but i already used this for other projects and it's a big fabric so i can use that for this um the downside is if i'm using this i have to stitch the white ones as well i don't know you will see but you know it will be fine so those are my cross stitching update and I brought with me um, during my um, 4th of July vacation a um, paint by number so I've worked on it because I like paint by number sometimes it just works too, 
it just brings it's just so relaxing you know just paint dab and paint it's really relaxing if if cross stitch is relaxing paint by number is more like it's really just over the top like if cross stitch is relaxing fifth um maybe eight out of ten this one is nine is yeah so that's my progress I know when I sh the last time I showed this with you the uh, the, the I, I I only have this part uh completed but this I've made a lot of progress this one is so there are so many tiny detail like very tiny so I I'm, I'm glad I purchased uh, detailed uh, brushes for detail like I I don't want to use the brushes that they've provided it's just too thick so I really want very tiny brushes so um yeah i enjoyed this a lot even with a tiny thing even though uh, my eyes are not that good but this is so fun to do and i think i like flowers when it comes to um paint by numbers yep that's my progress for this i'm in a hurry because my my 15 minute uh break has been so the next one is this is such, I think the last time I shared this with you this I completed this part now I added the rest this is Kate and Sun um, paint by numbers and I like it it's nice I don't wanna I will not uh, do anything like tweaking with this because it looks fine to me I guess and yep that's my um, my paint by number whips progress now i wanted to show you what i've purchased uh last saturday uh, because the paint by numbers in hobby lobby are 40 percent off this week so i bought this i like paintworks dimensions i like their paint by numbers though you have to mix the paints but i'm okay with it i'm kind of good with it though so yep that's the first one and then this one so i got them both of this for 26 dollars which is really nice because if you buy paint me numbers online not paint works but you know companies that offer paint me numbers they're 26 per item and sometimes you're not happy with it i'm pretty sure i'll be happy with the result from the dimensions paint works i like dimensions cross stitch i like dimensions paint works i am a dimensions um customer so that's my update for you guys i actually collect paint works every time hobby lobby is on sale i'll go and buy as much as i can so so far i don't know maybe i have four or three of them and currently working on one but that's all guys charlie we want to say happy uh, belated fourth of july and hope you have a wonderful uh week and keep on stitching and keep on painting and stay um nice and be kind goodbye guys see you next my next video bye